There's a heaviness here. Glory to God. <clears throat> you begin to pull on the powers of heaven. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. We just thank you. In Jesus' name, we bless this offering, and we thank you, Lord, for meeting every need according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Overflow. Thank you there, Mr. Johnson. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Sandy is recovering. And I say that just like that, recovering from migraine. Amen. You know, the Lord set her free from migraines a few years ago. Looks like we're going to have to get that oil back out again and rebuke that devil. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't like headache devils. Amen. Amen. Get rid of that generational devil. Amen. Acts chapter 17. Let's flip there this morning. So glad you're here today. If you hadn't have been here, you'd have been somewhere else, wouldn't you? <laughs> Literally, you know. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, God is so good. Oh, glory to God. I just love the Lord. Does anybody else love the Lord? Has he done anything good for you lately? I mean, praise God. Hallelujah. Mm. He brought me out of the miry clay. Hallelujah. Woo. Acts chapter 17, and let's look at verse 24. <clears throat> it says that, hallelujah, make sure I'm in the right book, Acts 17, 24, yeah, okay, yeah. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. Neither is worship with men's hands as though he needed anything. Wow, that's powerful. Seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things, and hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation, that they should seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far away from every one of us. Oh, I love that. He's not far away. <laughs> I'm going to feel for him. Amen. But he's not far away. And it says in verse 28, for in him we live, move, and have our being. As certain also of your own prophets have said, for we are also his offspring. You know, Paul talking in chapter 17, and he, he lays out a good foundation. You know, Paul was a great guy, you know. He used to be Saul, which was not a great guy. And I love it how God changed his identity, Amen. gave him a new name too. Amen. I believe that's a type and shadow of what the Lord's done for us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You know, Paul arrived in the city of Athens, and as they waited on the other disciples, he, he waited on the other disciples to catch up with him. His spirit was stirred by the many idols that were there. There were upward to 30,000 idols that they worshipped in Athens. 30,000 idols are little gods that they were recognizing in the city. But Paul's focus was not on the many named gods. He was focused on the statue for the unnamed god. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we know that our God's got a name, Yahweh, Jehovah, hallelujah, amen. 
And I'm thankful for that. So the discussion he began to have with the religious leaders of that city, Paul begins to make bold statements not only about Christ and the resurrection, but the very fact that the God that he served was the only God there was. Amen. I mean, you talk about somebody going to stir the pot. He poured the pot out and said, this is the only thing there is. There's only one God. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Out of the 30,000, he said, all the others were false and the one that he served was the only true one. That's right. Minds me of a prophet in the old Testament that the prophets of Baal, prophets of Baal were there and they were trying to get some things happening, you know, and they had Elijah there. And Elijah let them do what they did and they did everything they did trying to cause fire to come on the sacrifice and they cut themselves and danced and put all these things that they could to try to get their God to answer by fire. Because he put a proclamation out. He said, the God that answers by fire will be the one that we worship. It'll be the one that we go after. And that'll be the only one. And there'll be no other gods. Amen. And they all agreed. Amen. So when it came Elijah's time, thank the Lord, he rebuilt the altar. Built a trench around it. Filled it with water. Poured water on the <laughs> sacrifice. Poured water again. How many times did he pour it on there, Gail? You remember? Three or four times, I believe. And he poured it on. And had all the sacrifice there. And he said, remember, the God that answers by fire. You know, before that, he was going, come on, scream a little louder. Maybe your God's away, amen. Maybe he can't hear. Maybe he's asleep, amen. He taunted them. Woo, can you see that, amen. I didn't say, I'm like, get him, boy, get him. Ha, ha, ha. He called on the name of God. And the fire came and licked up the sacrifice and the water. Amen? Yes. Woo! And they fell on their faces and said, God, he is God. But he gathered up all the prophets of Baal, and they were slung, slew. Amen? They were all killed. Boy, I didn't know that was coming. Amen? Ooh. There's a lot of soothsaying, a lot of so-called prophets, so-called apostles, so-called pastors, evangelists, and teachers. Amen. Don't want to put just one out there, but a lot of them, amen, that have been saying, thus saith the Lord, and God hadn't said a thing. Amen. This is what God says, and God hadn't said a word. And they put it on him. But God will reveal himself in his time. And when he reveals himself, he will do it so everyone will see who is and who ain't. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't have to get up and say who I believe is right and who I believe is wrong. I'm after souls. God will handle it. Amen. God's bigger than I am. I have my own opinion, Robin. I have my own likes. I have my own favorites, so to speak. Amen. But none of us are perfect and none of them either. Amen. Amen. Brother Hagin himself, a prophet of God, said, if this doesn't bear witness to you, just wad it up, throw it in the trash can. Amen. Hallelujah. 
I have the privilege of knowing a few prophets, a few apostles that I know that are real, amen, and that I know personally are real, amen, hallelujah, amen, that they were not man called or teacher called, but they were God called, and he appointed them, and he gave them a title, amen, but they don't walk in their title, they walk in the power. There's a difference. Woo. You can call yourself a monkey. That don't make you one, even though you might go around making noises and scratching a little bit. You can call yourself a mechanic, but not know how to work on one. We call them shade tree mechanics, right, Tim? Amen. You know, some of them might know a few things, but they don't know the truth. I mean, to know the truth will make you free. Hallelujah. And there's some of them out there that's got certifications. I don't know how they got them, Tim. I don't know how they got certifications. Some of them got certified and forgot to put the oil filter in and turned it on there right. Right, Tim? Amen. I mean, we know some. We know some. Hello. I've seen some didn't even tighten down the spark plugs all the way. Amen. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. But certified don't mean you're anointed and appointed. Hallelujah. You may have the paper that said you're ordained, but if it ain't from God, that paper is no different than toilet paper. Amen. Hello, somebody. That's right. a good preaching, brother. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. But God's going to reveal himself in his time. And when he pulls the wool out and he uncovers them, amen, hallelujah. You know, the Lord said if he started at the house of God, if he starts with the house, judgment, if the house, judgment starts at the house of God, whoo, amen. I mean, I've, I've been going, oh me, Lord, hallelujah, amen. I've been in the prayer closet. I've been, I, I've been on my face before God in the spirit. Amen. And I was talking to a young lady yesterday and she's been really going through a lot of things. This was my uh, pastor that I started with many years ago. Pastor Randall Frazier and his wife, Yvonne, and, and their daughter, Melissa, have been going through so much over the last few years and we just reconnected this, this last year. And so I, I'm having the opportunity to speak into those that were speaking into me. Are you with me? I'm able to speak into people's lives that spoke into me. Amen. That, that is respect and honor to be able to do that. Hallelujah. And the word is trust. Hallelujah. I don't know everything, but I do know this. Sometimes I see things that other people stumble over. Sometimes I see things that some people fall down over when others could see it, but they don't have their eyes open. They don't have their ears open. Amen. They're not open to what God wants to be done or said. They're so occupied or preoccupied with everything else that's going on. That's why the Bible talks about the cares of this life, choking the life, the word out of us. It is a highway to heaven. Amen. We've got to stay plugged in. As I gave the word yesterday, the ten virgins, I said, be like the five wise. I said, be like the five wise. Be like the five wise. Please draw in. Draw in. And as you draw in, you'll see anxiety. You'll see pressures. You'll see all these demonic forces begin to fall and break off of you. Draw in to God. Hallelujah. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers from them all. Hallelujah. Amen. Press in. Press 
in, the Bible says, in him we live, move, and have our being. Whoo! In him. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Live, true life comes from God, a belief in Jesus. Move, our physical life coming from him. We live, we breathe, we move because of God. Our existence is because of him. The reason we're still here breathing is because of him. Every minute of every day, he's not a God who is absent, but active every minute in our lives if we'll acknowledge him. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll go with you all the way. I'm not seeking God. I'm worshiping him. He's with me. Oh, amen. Oh, glory to God. I'm acknowledging him. Philemon 1 and 4 talks about acknowledging him, acknowledging God, acknowledging the powers of heaven that's been deposited inside of you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Whoo. Amen. Amen. We have our being. He is our reason that we exist. Jesus said in John 14, verse 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I've sit in some great meetings, insurance world. Amen. Robin, you remember the A.L. Williams days. And, and I, I've sat in some great conventions. I've been a part of some organizations. And, and during the time, they would be talking about God. They'd start out in prayer. And they'd talk about God. And God, praise God. Praise God. Amen. And one of the ones that was so vocal, her profile says, Allah is her God. She's a devout Muslim. But she also loves Christianity. She loves Miles Monroe. But she also likes Farrakhan. Are you with me? Woo! Sounds like those that are adding up how many gods they got in their life. Amen. One more God. One more God. One more God. Whew. They're hedging their bets. But there's only one God. Whew. Where was it in the Old Testament when they put the ark into the room with the other gods? Amen. Woo! Woo! Amen. One fell over and they stood it back up and it fell over and it stood it back up. Then the power of God broke it in pieces. Are you still here? Hey, there's only one way to heaven. There's only one God. Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Shambach used to say, you're either on your way to heaven are your own your way to hell. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. It's a choice that you have to make. Nope. No halfway some pointer. Amen. And I no lay over it to uh, Gilgan's Island there. Amen. None. None. Hallelujah. Peter said in Acts chapter four. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 4, verse 10, he said, Let it be known to you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, by him this man stands before you whole. 
This is the stone that was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. Nor is there any salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Amen. No other way to heaven. No other way. No other way. No other way. Hallelujah. I'm thankful that I know the way. I'm thankful that I have a relationship with the way. I thank God that when I leave this earth, whether by the rapture or by death, I know where I'm going. I've got a better place to go to and a hell to shun and a heaven to gain. I don't know about you, but I get excited about the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. And the wonderful thing is we get to experience the powers of heaven while we're here on the earth. Hallelujah. Whew. We are complete in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't need anything else. We just need Jesus. Hallelujah. We need Jesus. Hallelujah. We need Jesus. We need Jesus. And he said, the one that comes after me is going to fill you and you're going to be burning with fire. Hallelujah. Woo! Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Ephesians 5.15 says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. How many know that's a fact? The days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. The Message Bible breaks it down and says, so watch your step. Use your head. Make the most of every chance you get. I'm learning. I'm doing every time, every time. I'm saying, Lord, I need to squeeze a little bit more out of that orange. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Whew. These are the desperate times, he says. Don't live carelessly. Un thinkingly, making sure you understand what the master wants. Hallelujah. See, each day, every day is important. I said every day is important. Every day, redeeming the time. Because the Bible says we are his workmanship. Whew. Man, I'm preaching like there's a hundred people here today. Amen. We are his Workmanship created in Christ for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Amen. Whew. Divine purpose is what we have. Jeremiah 29, 11. Robin, we both love that one. Amen. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you a future and a hope. To give you an expected end. Hallelujah, the King James says. Amen. Woo! Woo! I'm blessed in the city and blessed in the field. Hallelujah. Everywhere I go, I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. If I walk into a place where it's not blessed, when I get there, it becomes blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every soul of my feet are blessed. The air that I breathe is blessed. The words that I speak bring life. Hallelujah. Amen. If there's deadness, I bring life everywhere I go. 
Woo! Glory! Amen. Are you still here? What are you carrying with you? Amen. Hallelujah. Every day is important. Every day. Every day. You got to let that get settled inside of you. I know who I am. It don't matter what you feel like. If I could tell you every day how I feel. Amen. I could tell you what my body says. Amen. But I, I'm like, I'm like, what, what is his name? What was his name, Tina? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't ask. I don't ask my body how it feels. I tell it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, Pastor, what it is what what is it when you're hurting so bad? Well, I just take a Tylenol and go on, amen. And trust God. Amen. Trust God. And I know that he'll take care of that. Amen. Are you still here? What are you trusting in, the Tylenol? No, it'll take care of the inflammation. And I trust God. He's already healed me, and I'm walking in it. Thank God my body's going to respond. And after a little while, I forget about it. Amen. Are you still here? I forget about it. I forget about it. Let your mind be on him. Not on the things of the earth, but things heavenly. Let your mind be on him. Hallelujah. Focus. Stay focused. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Amen. Sixteen times in Ephesians, Paul uses the phrase in him or in Christ. Sixteen times. In him or in Christ. You know, Brother Hagin's got a little book out called In Him. Amen. It's powerful. Amen. It's powerful. It, you know, the word of God will set you free if you'll work it. Amen. It'll work for you if you'll work it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Learn to trust no matter what. The you know, Bible says in Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. In all your ways. You know, I've got things that I've learned over the years. And I'll say, Lord, that, that's pretty good. I'm doing good. I, I thank God. I, I thank God for the knowledge I have. I thank you. I wouldn't have it without you. Amen. Then he will tell me, in this situation, that won't work. I said, that's not what I've been taught. Amen. Amen. You know, if one plus one is still one, two plus two is still four. Amen. But then you got people out there trying to tell you that two plus four is not six. Amen. They want to give you a new math. I'm sorry, I don't want no new math. When the old math still works for me, I'm going to still work it. Amen. They told me in the early 70s in school, you're going to have to learn how to do the metric system because the other system's going to go away and you won't be able to use it any longer. Well, I'm still not using the metric system. Hallelujah. Amen. I've got some metric tools. Amen. Amen. And then, <laughs> Amen. Woo. They told us in Canada they changed, but they didn't. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Just because they say so, don't make it so. Amen. Just because they say so, just because these politicians are out there telling us what they're going to do and how it's going to be when they get in office or what they could do and what that, I don't want to hear no more of that. What have you been doing? Amen. You've been in power for 50 years. What have you done? Exactly. Look at the country. You can see what you've done. Amen. It's time for clean house. Amen. And then go in with a water hose and wash it down. Amen. When I worked at McDonald's, we, we went in, you know, we'd do the toilets and do all the things that you had to clean. And then we had the, the hose that was hooked up and it was hot boiling water. You go in there and you squash down and wash down them walls and wash everything down real good. Whatever it didn't get, 
you scraped off. Amen. It's time to clean the sewer out. Hallelujah. I like watching this guy that's on, on the Facebook sometimes and he'll, he'll be, he'll go into where people's, uh, sewer system is, is backed up. And, and it's backed up because of, of, of various, uh, oils, grease, the whatever. You know, you can find all kind of things in there. And he'll go through and he'll do for two or three, four hours working on the system. And he'll get it broke on one side and it'll still be stopped up over here. And he'd work on it and work on it and work on it. But then all of a sudden there's something that broke loose. And it... Boy, I love that noise. Amen. And then he'd go and he'd wash it out. And it'd be clean, fresh again. Amen? Fresh and clean again. And it'd be all smelling good in those bathrooms when we got through. Amen? And then you go in with some various other things to make the place smell clean. Amen? Hallelujah. Are you still here this morning? Hallelujah. You can go in somewhere and you can spray the poof that's out there now. That's supposed to be an odor eliminator. But if that's all you do, you still got the poop that's in there. Amen. Are you still here? You got to get rid of some things. There's a lot of people out there. They're wanting the blessings of heaven, but not deal with their devils in their lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I knew some folks at a, at a ministry Years ago, we're talking years. I've been doing this for 46 years, okay? And, and back a number of years ago, and they, these folks were living together. They were doing dope together. They were doing all kind of things like that. And they were on a ministry team. Pastor, can we come into your church and worship and praise with you and then minister to some of your people? I went, no, no, I'm getting devils out, not letting you bring them back in. Are you still here? Amen. The pastor called and said, why won't you let them come? Boy, I'm like, man, ooh, how long you got? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on in here in this room. We're going to educate you real quick. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's let you meet a few real devils and then we'll let you figure it out. Amen. You know, Brother Shambach said years ago, said, when you're dealing with devils and you, you're out there with that, <laughs> just playing around, said the first time you have one grow teeth and fingernails grow and their eyes bug out and they look at you and go, leave me alone. Said, you better know who Jesus is, and he better be in your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Exit stage right is what I did years ago. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's a fact too, buddy. Amen. Hallelujah. I've seen four grown men lifted up by a lady laying in the floor. Just like that. I was laying on one arm. Another one was on the other arm. Another one. Jim, if you're on there, you'll know what I'm talking about. Jim Brown. Hallelujah. And lifted all four of us up. And she turned and looked at me and said, leave me alone. You know, that was before I was filled with the Holy Ghost. It didn't take me long. I'm going to tell you what. Hallelujah. I started screaming, come out of her in Jesus' name. I did doing what I was told to do. Come out. Come out. The preacher was on the other side going, come out, amen. She lifted us up, amen. I'm like, well, I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. Must have been a wrong place. <laughs> Must have been a wrong time, amen. But God, I said, but God, but God. We did get her free, amen. It was something come out of her like the nastiest tar I've ever seen. Mm. Pea soup. No, it wasn't no pea soup. This was a D E V I L, amen. Not no Hollywood devil, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
There's a difference. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are his workmanship. We are his workmanship. We, we're at a point in our life now that we need to know who he is and who we are in the kingdom. Amen. There, there, there's no time to play him. There, there's no time for layover. There, there's no time to be like the disciples that followed afar off. We've got to be close in. Hello, somebody. We've got to be like the five wise virgins. We've got to press in. we got to press in. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. We have to remember this world is not our home. This world is not our home. I'm not learning how to continue to live here. Amen. I'm not building me an underground bunker. I've got my portal to heaven ready to go. Hallelujah. Beam me up, Lord Jesus. Woo. Are you still here? Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that this world is not our home. It's not our permanent home, Hebrews 13. We are looking forward to a home yet to come. We're ambassadors. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. The word says in Psalm 27, verse 1. Psalm 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light. And my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, to destroy me, my enemies and foes, they stumbled and fell. Verse 3, though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this I will be confident. Amen. If God be for us, who can be against us? Whew. <clears throat> we got to learn how to trust and obey. Amen. I'm thankful we at Powerhouse understand that God is the Yahweh. He is the way. He's the only way that we serve him. We love him. Even in our, uh, in our brokenness, even though we're not perfect yet mentally and physically, our new creature inside of us is new. Old things have become new in in, somebody say in. In Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We are new creatures in Christ Jesus. Whoo. Hallelujah. I've got the confidence that he's going to make it all right. Because in him we live and move and have our being. Hallelujah. Amen. I said in him. In him, uh, glory to God, we glorify the God of heaven. Woo, praise you, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you for every single person out there that's watching. I, 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 I don't know who all's there and who's not, and who's come and who's gone. Hallelujah. Hey, Glenn, we love you, brother. Hey, Dwayne Williams, man, we love you too, brother. Hallelujah. But we're talking about a God, a God of a second chance, a God of a third chance. And no matter how many times we made it or blowed it, he's still for us and not against us. Hallelujah. So we pray for you this morning that are watching and those that will watch later, that from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, that you receive the powers of heaven, God setting you free mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. Hallelujah. 
If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, cry out and say, Lord Jesus, I need you. Set me free. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my life and live. Amen. If you believe that, hallelujah. Romans 10, 9 and 10 tells us we confess it with our mouth. Hallelujah. And we thank God for it. We love you and we appreciate you. We'll see you about Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Love you. Woohoo.